When talking about towns to visit in Minnesota, the Twin Cities, Stillwater, Rochester, Duluth, and Grand Marais are among the popular ones. Still, there is one small city in Minnesota that should be on the list. Wayzata, Minnesota. It is a picturesque and lively town in Hennepin County. This small lakeside town on the northern side of Lake Minnetonka is among the most beautiful small towns to explore in Minnesota. Even though it's pretty small and not as famous as other cities in the United States, nor even Minnesota, the town has a lot to offer. The town's modest but attractive upcoming tourist site is well worth visiting. Some of the unique activities to do and locations to see in this hidden getaway might even take your breath away. In this guide, we've compiled a list of some of the best things to do in Wyzata that will leave you hungry for more in this little speck of Minnesotan paradise. Check out this list of the best things to do in Wyzetta. If you are an art enthusiast, you should not miss the opportunity to see the various masterpieces on display at the Minnetonka Center for the Arts. It is a non-profit organization established in 1952 to improve the quality of life in the neighborhood by incorporating visual art into everyday life. The center offers community outreach that provides arts programs to underserved groups in the Minneapolis area and throughout the state of Minnesota. In addition to the free art exhibits that are open to the public, one of the most enjoyable things to do when visiting the Minnetonka Center for the Arts is to take advantage of the visual arts education provided for people of all ages. It is accessible to people of all interests, ability and skill. The studio offers lessons and workshops all year for folks of all ages and ability levels, as well as for families and groups of friends. Do you love spending the day soaking in the sun? If so, Grays Bay Dam Park is just the place for you in Wayzata, Minnesota. Grays Bay Dam Park is an excellent location for taking a stroll, running the trails, participating in leisure sports like frisbee, or basking in the sun during summer. Located near the exit of Lake Minnetonka into Minnehaha Creek, this lovely and scenic park is a must-see attraction. The park is as unique as it is interesting. One of the most enjoyable things to do while visiting the park is to appreciate the majesty of nature and wander across the park's 900 feet of boardwalk that spans the water's edge. The Dakota Rail Regional Trail Grays is one of the many beautiful trails to explore when visiting the park crossing the creek headwaters in a zigzag pattern back and forth. It's not the spot to go for a long walk, but it's worth a visit nonetheless if your soul craves beauty. Have you ever tried stand-up paddleboarding? If you haven't, you simply must test your skill on the gentle waves of Lake Minnetonka. Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes. In fact, it has just over 14,000. And as a result, it is a haven of water sports and Wyzetta, Minnesota is no exception. The town is located on the shore of the stunning Lake Minnetonka. Rent a board or a kayak and enjoy the sense of escape that one can have from paddling or kayaking on the ocean that Wainani Surf and Paddle was born without having to go somewhere coastal. Outdoor excursions on or around Minnesota's lakes are one of the state's most popular activities. If paddle boarding or generally getting wet doesn't sound like fun, you can participate in a variety of other activities, such as renting e-bikes or participating in yoga and fitness programs by the shore of this beautiful lake. After a day of fun outdoor escapades, take a relaxing break by sunbathing or walking along the coast of Wyzetta Beach. Enjoying a day at the beach is one of the most popular getaway activities of all time. And at Wyzetta Beach, you can have a similar fantastic experience as it's the perfect destination to enjoy picnics and bond with the family or friends during the summer heat. The beach in Wayzata is well equipped with services and facilities. Gardens, outdoor showers, playgrounds, hiking trails, and a volleyball field are all available. With shady grassy sections, numerous picnic tables, and deck chairs near the water's edge for sunbathing, the beach provides everything you need for a relaxing day in the sun. Want to learn more about the long history of Wayzata? then don't overlook the train depot. The old train depot, once known as the heart of Wyzetta through the late 1800s and early 1900s, now serves as a charming local museum today. Visitors may learn about the history of Wyzetta, the train station, and its people. The historic waiting room and station master's office, as well as Wyzetta, Lake Minnetonka, and railroad artifacts are just a few of the incredible things to see at the museum. 
The museum is located directly across the street from railroad tracks that are still in service to this day. The train depot is a fun destination for people of all ages, so bringing the entire family is encouraged. The miniature trains stationed right outside the railway station will be a big hit with the little ones. Large wooded areas and diverse arrays of native species have become more challenging to locate in the rapidly developing metro area around the twin cities of St. Paul and Minneapolis. However, the Woodrill Scientific and Natural Area in Wyzetta is a haven of breathtaking flora and fauna. Wonderful wildflowers, green grass, and towering trees encircle the site, making this beautiful area an intimate and serene place to unwind. Woodrill Scientific and Nature Area in Wyzetta is a calm spot, great for leisure and nature walks. It's rich with beauty and diverse wildlife that makes the place best for bird and wildlife watching. If you're fascinated by wildlife, then this is the ideal place for you to spot and appreciate them. Among the most enjoyable activities in the area are hiking, taking photographs, and participating in snowshoeing and cross-country skiing activities in winter. Biking is allowed on a specific part of the area, and dogs are welcome if they're on a leash. Travelling is not only about chasing after beautiful scenery and learning about a new place's history, but it is also about tasting delicacies. As we like to say at Via Travellers, travel not only broadens the mind, but also broadens the palate. If you find yourself hungry in Wyzetta, head over to the affluent Lake Street, considered one of the best dining streets in the entire West Metro area. There's almost everything. From a combination of fantastic steakhouses, European-style cafes, coastal chic patios, and of course, lakeside dining that really makes Lake Minnetonka… well, Lake Minnetonka. The food scene along Lake Street is utterly fantastic. But you know what makes it better? Gazing at the seemingly hundreds of gleaming Range Rovers, Beamers, and Audi SUVs outside. There's so many it looks like they're breeding while you're feeding. Of the many towns in Minnesota that once you visit you will want to return to again and again and again, Wyzetta is a shining example. It has a diverse range of scenery and activities for people of all ages to enjoy, and it is a place that will leave you in wonder at all it has to offer. The charming town of Wyzetta is one of the reasons that Minnesota is a haven for anyone seeking adventure, nature, good food, relaxation, and artistic expression. Wyzetta is a beautiful destination to spend a vacation with the whole family and is an excellent place to visit as a day trip from the Twin Cities area. Whether you're searching for scenic vistas, historical landmarks, a weekend getaway, or outdoor excitement, this region has it all. If you are interested in a Minnesota visit, you simply must include Wyzetta when visiting the state. Wyzetta may often be overlooked, but after seeing what's in store from this video, are you really going to ignore such a fascinating town? Really? Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram via our handle at Via Travelers or check out our blog at viatravelers.com. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to hit that shiny red subscribe button below. Now go purify yourself in the depths of Lake Minnetonka already.